Welcome to Quick Grips and thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to learn another Black Sabbath song, probably one of the most well-known guitar riffs of all time, it could be argued. Uh, especially, I mean, with metal players, everybody knows this song. Um, so if you are a beginner, it's a good one to get down pat because a lot of people will recognise it. Uh, pretty simple chords, the only thing that's a little bit tricky maybe for a beginner is that there is a couple of uh, slides between chords without picking, so uh, you do have to plan ahead a little bit whilst you're playing it, but it's, it's worth learning. Here we go, this is Iron Man by Black Sabbath. As always, I'll play it first at full speed and then I'll break it down. Okay, so simple riff, as you saw there, um, the, hardest, the hardest part is probably moving here and then getting back. Um, what I'm going to do, because it's all on one string and the chord shape doesn't change, what I'll do is just tell you where to put your first finger. Um, the first and the third finger are always two frets and one string apart. So, the, so first finger starts on the second fret of the A string, third finger is on the fourth fret of the D string. Always two frets apart, never changing between the uh, never changing strings. So our opening chord is here. And then we go up to put our first finger at the fifth fret. Then we slide up two frets and strum again. So so far we've got up to probably the trickiest part which is our first finger at the 10th fret on the A string and our third finger on the 12th fret and what we're doing is moving down one fret and sliding so it's depending on how you choose to play it you can pick each movement or you can just slide between the two so the difference would be or so you go straight from there, back to the first finger fifth fret, and then you do the slide again. So you're going, I'll play it slowly, so you're going. All standard tuning, all simple, all simple chords. That's a good one to learn quickly. Your distortion doesn't matter too much. Um, Sabbath have always used a really dirty distortion, and I mean, back when this song was written, they didn't have the choice of what we have now. So you can really make it as dirty as you like through the amp, and it'll still sound good. Thanks for tuning in. Any comments? Love to hear them. Cheers.